Wagbad to Dubsy Breaks for another episode of Building Gotham City and Lego. And we're going to start this week off by doing yet more rock work here on Arkham Island. I want to get the steps all put in all the way up to the actual building itself. Get the rock work built up on this side as well to the level so it's all ready for the car park and the building. So let's get all those grey slopes out, get the plates out and let's get started. And here is the start of the steps that will be leading from the jetty part all the way up to the actual asylum itself. And as you can see, I've just used some the dark tan tiles, put some filler brick and filler plate underneath them and try to make it one plate apart on each of them. So it's not looking too steep. So I'm just working my way all the way around that. And then I'm going to build the rock work around that. I thought it was going to be a lot easier to do it this way around. But yeah, happy with how that's all coming on. And I think the dark tan is going to work quite well with this. It's another colour added into the mock which is going to just give a little bit more contrast to it anyway let's carry on building the steps up and then we can start building the rock work all the way around this and then hopefully it'll look good once it's all finished And here is the rock work section, pretty much up to the height that I want it to be. Still need to build all of the supports in that section there. One thing I have realised I've done though is I've gone too far back on the rock work that way. I needed to leave the last about three studs clear so the, uh, the building can overlap onto the front section of the island. So I just need to make those amendments. So let's get those amendments all made and then we can put the island back together and see how it's looking. And here is the island all put together. Still need to do some rock work around this section here and finish the floor off. And there's also a bit that needs to be done just around on that part just there. One thing I'm going to be working on next is this lower section here. I need to rearrange the inside of it. There's a window just behind the rock work, which I need to lose just there. But I want to move the sounds from this end down to that end and put the hole in the floor that lead down to the maximum security. Now the prisoners that are dropped off by boat there, we walked all the way up the steps here and there is a doorway on the side. So that's how they will get into it. But the one thing I do need to do is work on how the prisoners arrive by road over the bridge, how they're transported into the prison. I'm considering having a section at the side there. So again, that's just something I need to work on. So let's take this section over to the table and that's all the walls all sorted out on this lower section here. I ended up rotating it around 180 degrees. It was a lot easier than moving the whole of the cells. 
from one end to the other. Due to these being symmetrical, it was an easy job. Now this is gonna be the front of the building, so I've removed the windows because that's gonna be up against the rock work. I've got the windows on the back here and I've added a couple more down this end. This door is gonna be leading to the exercise yard. That doorway will lead to the pathway which goes down to the boat. And this hole in the floor will lead to the maximum security section. So I just need to put some internal walls in here to segregate things. And I'm probably gonna have the canteen area in here, but I also need to put some steps which are gonna lead up to the next floor. And that's the top of the stairs all sorted out. So we put the rails around there so people won't fall down the gap. It does look quite fancy here, but my thoughts were this would have been an oldish building, so there would have probably been that grander look to it at some stage. Next up, I'm going to put some steps in here, which is going to lead to the floor above. And then once I've done that, I'm going to tile off the entire floor area here. So let's get those stairs in there and then let's get tiling. And there we have two sets of stairs in. This one's going to take you up to the next set of sails above and then that one's going to be to a different part of the prison. I was originally going to be having this area here as a canteen sort of area. However, it's not going to be big enough. So I'm just going to put a guard room down on this end. So that's as far as I can go for the time being with this. Now, due to the fact that I've rotated the building around by 180 degrees, the prison sails this end are on the wrong side on the floor above. So I am going to have to amend that one as well but uh yeah happy with how it's coming on so far and that's the rock work all sorted out of this side of the asylum and really happy with the way that it looks like the building is built into that rock work all i need to do now is put some pillars in here play that all off and that's all going to be ready for doing the next part of the building on there and the building that i'm going to be having here or area that's going to be here is where the prisoners are transported from the van into the actual asylum itself the one thing I do like about the way that the island now is, is the fact that this can't move. It won't go to the left, right, front or back. Got rock work on this side here. There's a couple of bits at the very bottom on there and the same down that end. And also the stairs at the top there, that bit as well is also keeping everything nicely in place. So it doesn't require any jumper place. You can just sit there on the tiles. Now I have put a couple of modified plates on the top of here and here and that will hold the next floor all in place but a lot happier with this way than it was previously before if i knocked it it would have just fallen off the island and really happy again with how much I managed to get done on the island this week it has been quite the job redesigning this entire lower section but happy with how it's all coming on still plenty to do need to work on the car park area up here there's going to be a, a caged area on the side here where prisoners are unloaded from the van and they go through to the prison now this lower section of the prison as i mentioned earlier does need to be changed the layout inside doesn't work due to the new layout of the section that's built into the rock work down there but it shouldn't make take too much to rearrange it's only the internal walls that need to be amended these windows here are the same on both ends so again it should be quite an easy process to do this area around here still need to do some either tiling on the floor or put more rock work in and all of the inverted slopes here where you see these little studs here they're all going to have some sort of like greenery on them or there'll be cheese wedges or wildlife I'm not sure exactly what yet and i do want to put a couple of bits of rock that are just sticking out of the water just so it's not all plain so it looks like it's a rocky area all around that part and again on the back eventually i will need to put another rock work small rock work section for the guard tower to come up which will then lead to the doorway up the top there but yeah all in all really happy of how it's all come on this week anyway i hope you've enjoyed the update if you have please remember to give us a big thumbs up if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing to the channel it really does help the channel to grow the more people that subscribe the easier it is for others to find and if you know anybody else that you think will be interested in this or the mandal series i would really appreciate it if you could share it with them anyway thanks for coming by and i'll see you next time Take care. Bye for now.